in these tutorials, we are going to talk about conjugate and division of a complex number. Now let's start with the conjugate. The conjugate of a complex number z equals a plus bi is denoted by z bar, which is defined as a minus b i. What it means is when we have a complex number and we want to find the conjugate of that particular complex number, all that we have to do is to negate the imaginary part of the complex number. So the representation of the conjugate is just given back to the variable representing the complex number. As in here, we have z here. So the z bar like this represents the conjugate of the complex number. Right? Sometimes you will not see z bar, you see z star. So instead of z bar, you can see z star. It also means conjugate of the complex number. All right, let's find the conjugate of the following complex numbers. One, negative six plus eight i. Let's say z equals this, negative six plus eight i. What to be z bar? What to be the conjugate of this particular complex number? All that you have to do is negate the imaginary part. So I'm going to get negative six minus eight i. Let's try another one. Z equals um, one minus i. Z bar will be equal to what? One plus i. Because we will negate the imaginary part. So we have negative, negative. And it will be positive i. Let's add this one. Omega equals um, q minus p i. What is omega by going to be? We are simply going to get q plus p. So that is that for the conjugate of a complex number. All that I have to do is to negate, <coughs> sorry, negate the imaginary parts and you are good to go. Let's move on with the division. Division of a complex number. Let's consider these two complex numbers. Z1, which equals A plus BI, and Z2, which equals C plus DI. If you want to find Z1 on Z2 or Z1 divided by Z2, how are we going to do it? Solution. Z1 over Z2 is going to be A plus B I over C plus D I. All right. Now, when you have two complex numbers dividing like this, what you have to do is to find the conjugate of the denominator. Here, yeah, the denominator is C plus DI. And the conjugate of this is going to be C minus what? DI. So you find the conjugate of the denominator. Then you multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the original complex number. Then you simplify. So here, when we are co continuing, you're going to get A plus BI over C plus DI. Then we multiply the top, which is the numerator, and the denominator two by the conjugate. So we are going to get C minus DI multiplying A plus BI here, and C plus DI multiplying C minus DI like this. This is what you are going to get. So when you have one complex number dividing the other like this, you find the conjugate of the denominator. Then you multiply it by both the numerator and the denominator of the original complex number, as I have done here. Now let's continue. So here, the numerator, you will simplify the numerator. The numerator has now become two complex numbers which are multiplying each other. So is the denominator. So you just carry out the, the operation. Like we learned in the earlier videos, how we multiply two complex numbers. You apply that one here. All right. Now, so. Here we have a plus b i multiplying c minus d i, right? So the a here will multiply everything in this bracket, and the b here will also multiply everything in this bracket. So we're going to get a multiplying c minus d i 
plus bi multiplying c minus di all over here to c will multiply everything here d i will multiply everything here so i'm going to get c multiplying c minus di plus di <coughs> multiplying c minus di so we are coming to simplify the numerator and the denominator so we're going to get a c minus a d i plus b c i minus b d i squared all over c squared minus c d i plus c d i minus d i all of this squared all right so here we have i squared here so the i squared is going to be negative one so we are going to get a c minus a d i plus b c i minus b d multiplying negative one because i squared in complex numbers is negative one all over there yeah, we have CDI and positive CDI, negative CDI and positive CDI for cancel. And here we are going to get C squared. Then we have, we are going to have minus, let me write it here. We have minus DI all squared. So it's going to be minus D squared I squared. And I is negative one. So we are going to get negative D multiplying negative one. So we are going to get positive D at the end. So here we are going to get, sorry, positive d squared rather. We are going to get positive d squared at the end. We are going to get plus d squared. All right. And any time that a complex number multiplies its conjugates, you are going to get the square, the, the sum of the square of the real and the imaginary part, sum of the squares of the real and the imaginary part anytime that a complex number multiplies its conjugate that's what you're going to get all right so here we are going to get this so let's simplify what is here we are going to have we have ac here and we have bd minus one so we are going to get positive bd we have ac plus b d and we have negative a D here, A D I here, and positive B C I here. So here we can say plus B C I minus A D I all over C squared plus D squared. So we're writing this. Um, we write this as A C plus B D plus B C minus A D or multiplying I all over C squared plus B squared. Right. So when we divide these two complex numbers, this is what we are going to get A C plus B D plus B C minus A D or in brackets I all over C squared plus D squared. But since we want to get the real part and the imaginary part all at one side or all standing alone, you can rewrite it as this. You can say we are going to have A C plus B D all over and given every at its own denominator b c minus a d i all over c squared plus d squared so this represents the real part and the whole of this represents the imaginary part all right so this is how we divide complex numbers now let's let's solve a real example with values so we are supposed to evaluate 3 minus 7 i all over 2 plus 
six i okay so like i said earlier on all that you have to do when you have countless numbers dividing like this is to find the conjugate of the denominator find the conjugate of the denominator so here the denominator is 2 plus 6i so its conjugate is going to be 2 minus 6i so we are going to get 3 minus 7i over 2 plus 6i multiplying the conjugate of this so we will multiply the conjugate to both the numerator and the denominator of the original complex number. So 2 minus 6i all over 2 minus 6i. Then we simplify. So 3 is going to multiply 2 minus 6i. And negative 7i is going to multiply 2 minus 6i all over. Like I said, if a complex number is multiplying its conjugate, you are going to have um, the sum of the squares of both the real part and the imaginary part. You are going to get 2 squared plus c squared. So it will save you the time of going through all this constellation and what have you. Alright, now let's simplify the numerator. So the multiplying 2 is going to give us 6 minus you're going to get 6 minus 18 i minus 14 i plus 42 i squared all over 2 squared is what 4 and this squared is what 36 right so here we are going to get 6 and we have negative 18i and negative 14i. It is going to give us negative 32i. Negative 32i plus 42. Multiplying i squared is what? Negative 1. All over 36 plus 4. We are going to get 40. Simplifying further, we are going to get 6 minus 42. Because here we have 42 multiplying negative ones, so we're going to have negative 42 minus 32i all over 46 minus 42 is going to give us negative 36 minus 32i all over 40. So at the end of the day, we are going to have that negative 36 over 40 minus 32i over 40 which can also be written as 9 negative 9 over 10 minus 4 over 5i so this is the final answer when we divide these two complex numbers the minus 7i over 2 plus 6i is going to give us this let's take another example Example 2. If z1 is equal to 2 minus 3i and z2 is going to be is equal to 3 minus 4i, find z1 over z2. Solution. z1 over z2 is going to be 2 minus 3i all over 3 minus 4i. Then we multiply both sides by the what? Both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So the conjugate is going to be 3 plus 4i, 3 plus 4i. And we simplify. 2 is going to multiply 3 plus 4i. And negative 3i is going to also multiply 3 plus 4i. A complex number multiplying its conjugate. So we are going to have 3 squared plus 4 squared. Simplifying further, we get 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4i is 8i. Minus 3 times, minus 3i times positive 3, 9i. Negative 4, 3i multiplying positive 4i have negative 
12 i squared all over three squared is what nine and four squared is what 16. all right so here when we simplify you are going to get six minus i because we have eight i minus nine i we get negative one i which is just minus i then negative 12 i squared is negative 12 multiplying negative 1 all over 9 plus 16 which is what 25 so here we are going to have 6 plus 12 minus i all over 25 which is going to be 18 minus i over 25 so 18 over 25 minus i over 25 so that is that all right so this is how we divide two complex numbers